Welcome to Lavanya's Computer Classes. In this video, we will explain semaphores topic in operating system. It is very, very important topic in operating system. So, what is semaphores? Who is discussed semaphores? I will explain in this. It was proposed by Discastra in 1965. So, semaphores was uh, proposed by Discastra in 1965. So, what is semaphore means? It is a very significant technique. It is a technique to manage concurrent process. For example, in operating system, in so many processes are there. All processes are executed simultaneously, concurrently. So, we need a technique. By using a simple integer value that is known as semaphore. So, what is a semaphore mean? Semaphore is an integer variable. Simple thing is semaphore is a integer variable that are used to solve the critical section problem. Critical section problem by using two atomic operations. So, what is critical section problem is first of all semaphores are used for concurrent execution. What is concurrent execution? Concurrent execution means multiple processor executed simultaneously. For example, P1, P2, P3, three processors are there. These three processors are using same variable, shared variable. This is known as shared variable. For example, these three variables are used require one variable like A, A equal to 10. So, all the processors need this variable. So, that's why this variable is known as shared variable. But all the processors execute at a time simultaneously, then we face the problem. So, without uh, going into uh, any problem, the shared variables are stored in one place. That place is known as critical section. In the critical section, we store this variable. All the shared variables are stored in the critical section. So, now P1 require this variable means P1 is entering into the critical section. P2 is also need the same variable means P2 is also entering into the critical section. And P3 need the same variable means P3 is also entering into the critical section. That is why before entering the critical section, we need two types of blocks we require. One is the entry block section we need. Again, for example, P1 is entering into the critical section that means now p1 is used the variable a p2 and p3 are waiting so that is called as mutual exclusion also mutual understanding mutual exclusion so p1 is entering into the a once the p1 work is over then p1 is come out of from the critical section for that we need to execute one code that is called as exit code so Whenever any process entering into the critical section, we need entry block. We have to execute entry block operation. After finishing your work, again we want to exit from the critical section. We need, we have to execute exit code. So, this entire work is checked by the semaphore. Semaphore is an integer variable. It is used for solving. So, this is the definition. Semaphores are integer variables that are used to solve the critical section problem critical section problem so in this critical section problem we are using two atomic operations those operations names are known as wait and signal so that are used for process synchronization without any problem the process are executed simultaneously then we need semaphores the semaphore is also executed with two operations one is the wait operation, second one is the signal operation. So, this is the basic definition of semaphores. Then we go for types of semaphores. How many types of semaphores we have? I mean, there are two types of semaphores are there. One is binary semaphore, second one is counting semaphore. Binary, we already we know what is the meaning of binary. Binary means two. So, in this the semaphore's values are only 0 and 1 because in the name only it is that it is a binary semaphore. Counting semaphore. Counting semaphore, in this counting semaphore, the semaphore values are infinity, minus infinity to infinity. Any number of processors are executed. Once the process is coming, means it is uh, uh, incremented, otherwise it is decremented. So, these are the types of semaphores. So, here what is semaphore? What are the types of semaphores? And next one is, already I said there are two operations are used in semaphores. What is the use of that means use it that are used to access the change the value of the semaphore variables. 
So what are the two operations? We already said one is the weight operation, second one is signal operation. For these two operations, we have so many synonyms are there. Weight operation is also called as P operation. The two operations is known as P and V. P for weight operation, not only weight, it is also called as sleep or down operation. So these all are the synonyms of P operation. Next operation is V operation. The V operation is also known as signal operation, wake up and up, opposite, down, opposite, up, sleep, wake up, wait, then go for signal. So these are the two operations are performed in semaphores. Now we will explain what are the use of those operations. Weight operation. Weight is also known as P operation, also known as sleep operation, then also down operation. How it will be working means it decrements the values. Weight operation is always decrements the values of its argument S. S for semaphore. If it is positive, if S value is positive, then automatically it, increment, it decrement one value. If it is negative or zero, no operation is performed. See here, S is in semaphore value. If the semaphore value either positive number or negative number positive or negative or zero if negative or zero no operation is performed if it is positive what we have to do means just decrement it so this is a code weight s yes, while s yes, less than or equal to zero if it is zero or negative number you don't do anything that's why weight operation is closed here if s is positive then what we have to do just decrement it so this is a code for weight operation I will explain this one with one example also. Next, signal operation. Signal operation means the signal operation is also called as V, wake up and up operation. What it using means it increments the values. It just increment the value. Opposite, weight operation is decrement, signal operation is increment. This is the code. Signal S, S for semaphore value, just incrementing the value. So these two are the operations. Now I will explain with one example. So whenever any process is entering into the critical section, we need to execute entry section code because it is the critical section. CS, first of all CS is free. So whenever any process wants to entering into the critical section, we have to execute entry section code. So what is this entry section code mean? This is the entry section code. Um, so down, entry section is also known as down, P or weight. So down, semaphore S, S is a variable. Here S dot value equal to S dot value minus 1 because I already said in the down value you have to decrement. In the down you have to decrement and in the weight you have to increment. So in the entry section down, down you have to decrement the value. So, you are decrementing here. If S dot value less than 0, put the process in PCB and keep it in the suspended list sleep. Else return. So, this is the code I will explain now. So, first entry section, critical section is free. Now, I will take the initial value. Critical section value is 3. Critical section value is 3. Now, here. Now, I want to take first example P1. P1 is a process. P1 wants to entering into the critical section. So before if we want entering into the critical section, we have to execute down operation coming to here. So what is the S value? S value is 3. So S dot value equal to S dot value minus 1. That means 3 is now changed to 2. 2 is less than 0. 2 is less than 0. True or false? It is 2 less than 0. False. If it is true, execute this block, but it is false, so again going to return, else return means the P1, this is a critical section area, in this critical section area, P1 is entered into the critical section, that means P1 is used, whatever the resources are available in the critical section. Now P2, one more process is also coming into the, it is also entering into the critical section here. So, if we want to enter any process into critical section, we have to execute entry section. So, coming to check here. What is the S value? S value is 2. So, 2 equal to 2 minus 1. That means 2 is changed to now 1. 
again 1 less than 0 1 less than 0 no it is wrong so that means it go to directly else in the else what is there return return means it return into the cs critical section so p1 is also entering into the p2 that means p2 is also possible to use the same resources which resources are available in the critical section now for example p3 also wants to entering into the critical section again rule again follow the down algorithm so what is the s value s value equal to s value minus 1 now 1 is changed to 0 again 0 less than 0 0 less than 0 is also wrong 0 is equal to 0 so it is also coming into return so that means p3 is also entered into the critical section so like this all the pros are entering into the critical section for example now i want to go for p4 also one more process also there that is also wants to entering into the critical section again same thing same application same algorithm you have to apply s value what is s value here now 0 0 equal to 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 is less than 0 yes correct whenever it is correct then execute this part of the code put process pcb because already semaphore critical section is completed it is not possible to enter into one more process so where the process is keep it mean that is separately in one more place that is called as pcb what is pcb means process control block this means this is called as process control block this process control block it is called as block list that means the process is not possible to entering into the critical section. The P4 process is keep it in the PCB. It is in the sleep state. Now P4 is not possible to work. Now it is into the sleep taste, sleep. Sleep or waiting mode also. So whenever it is going to block list, it is not possible to directly going into active state. So first of all, it is in the sleep state. So like this critical section problem is entry section is working once entering into the critical section for example p1 work is over p1 work is over means p1 wants to come out from the cs critical section so it is no problem exit from the cs but before it is not possible to leave simply you have to execute exit section exit section code any process is come out of from the control critical section you have to execute exit section now we will explain exit section code the exit section code is also known as signal wake up or up so already in the previous example entry section p1 p2 p3 are there and oh, this is the pcb block block list in the pcb block which process is there p4 process is there p4 process is in the sleep mode so whenever p1 work is over p1 wants to exit from the critical section if one is exit from the critical section next only next then whenever critical section is empty then only it is possible to entering into some other process so whenever p1 wants to exit from the critical section we have to execute exit section code this is the code for exit section exit section is also known as signal wake up and wave and up here sv is already s value is in minus 1 already in the previous example i gave na s1 equal to minus 1 so up semaphore s s means what is s value s value is minus 1 s dot value equal to s dot value plus 1 so that means minus 1 plus 1 that is equals to 0 if s value less than or equal to 0 here 0 is less than 0 wrong but 0 equal to 0 it is correct whenever it is correct here we keep it this one is working that means p1 is coming automatically out and select a process from suspended list suspended list means block list so which one is there in the block list which one is there in the block list p4 is there in the block list so this select the process p4 and wake up because it is already in the sleep state now we just wake up the process why we have to wake up means any process is in the sleep state it is not possible to keep it in the directly in the active mode first sleep state sleep state to then wake up after wake up to then only go keep it in the critical section problem so once p1 is coming out means 
P4 is come out from the PCB and keep it in the wake up state like this uh, critical section is working. So critical section what not critical section sec, semaphores. So what is a semaphore mean? Semaphore it is a just integer value. So what is the use of semaphores means? Those are used for concurrent process executions without any problem. All the processes are used the resource share, uh, sharing variables, sharing whatever it is. All are used, uh, all the variables without any problem. For that we need semaphores. So thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel, share it to your friends. Thank you.